Herbal medicine is the art of using herbs to maintain health and to prevent, alleviate, or cure disease. Plants have been used for medical purposes long before recorded history. Herbalism was the medicine of our ancestors. While some herbs work on a physical level, others work on a vibrational, energetic, or some could even say magical level. Remedies Herb Shop, located at 453 Court Street, Brooklyn, New York, opened in 2014. They specialize in herbal medicine. Three years ago, my friend Cheryl Boyko opened this shop and gave me the opportunity to work here and teach here. And I get to come here and be my authentic self whenever I want. I actually was sort of born this way, and I ignored it for a long time. When I was a little girl, I used to make perfume out of magnolia petals and rainwater. I ignored that for a long time and did work in photo finishing and print production management, and I loved that too. But finally, about 15 years ago, I said, it's time to take an herbal medicine class. So I took my first class, I took another class, and decided I wanted to invest the time and money in an apprenticeship. So I did four years with a teacher named Robin Rose Bennett, and I learned the wise woman healing way. Uh, of herbal medicine and herbal healing. The philosophy that we have in the shop is that these are these are the healers provided by the earth. And Mother Earth provides exactly what we need right in our footsteps. Um, we can go to Prospect Park. I did that on Saturday. I took a group of women into the park and showed them where the wild healing plants grow right here in the city. We do have um, a few doctors who uh, work with um, formulators who make product for the doctor, according to the doctor's um, prescription. Rosemary is typically used for memory. Um, it's kind of, uh, it's helpful for focus. Um, it's, 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 I mean, it's, it's kind of, um, it can also be used to help respiration, help open up, uh, yeah, open up breathing passages. It's not one of the heavy hitters for that. I would go to some others, but as a commoner, those are some of its benefits. Lavender is the absolute best go-to for stress and anxiety and relaxing. It's also antibacterial and antimicrobial, so I add it into my skin healing remedy. That's, I mean, you know, people come in and we have other things for, for stress and anxiety, but especially when it comes to the um, essential oils, which are I don't even consider herbal medicine because they're so concentrated. Mm -hmm. Lavender is the one to go to for calming. While there are like a hundred and some odd jars on that wall, I only go to maybe a half dozen or mm -hmm. a dozen of them yeah. because they do everything that I need. We don't need them all. Mm -hmm. So some of my day-to-day -day ones, for instance, we don't take vitamin supplements, we make nourishing infusions. Some of the herbs that I will take on a day-to-day -day basis alternating would be um, nettles, oat straw, um, raspberry leaf, I like comfrey leaf too, red clover, those are, uh, those are my, like, that's my multivitamin, I'll make a really strong infusion and drink that throughout the day. Then for like skin issues, I've been making since my kids were little a salve, a really simple salve with a plant, a wild weed plant called Platago Major. Um, I infuse that in olive oil, salve it up with a little beeswax, add a little bit of lavender essential oil to make it a little bit more anti infective And that's my go-to for itchy scrapes, bumps, bruises, um, stings, every, every, everything skin related. Everybody that comes to that store is in here because this is what they want. I don't have to talk anybody into anything. They already get it. So yeah, I'm sure there is a stigma. I know, I know there is. Not in my world. <laughs>